Hi everybody, Robin here. Ooh, let me adjust the camera. Maybe that's a little better. I don't know. Um, anyway, so sorry for my absence. Um, I know it's been a while. I'll explain why at the end of the video if you are interested, but this is my birch box versus Ipsy for the month of September of 2015. If you're not familiar with these, they are $10 a month subscription services. I will have links to them down below if you are interested. Um, with AFC, you get off the list a whole lot, the wait list a whole lot faster if you connect it to your Facebook. So just a little tip, trick, whatever. So I can't remember which one I got into first last time. I want to say it was Birchbox. So I'll go into Ipsy Plus. Ipsy feels kind of lightweight this month. <laughs> So, um, I got my Ipsy today. I got Birchbox on Saturday. They've been tag teaming which one comes in first lately. So, um, the theme is Face Fashion by Ipsy. Um, I think I saw a preview of this, but if I did, I honestly can't remember what it was. Um, I like this part of the bag. I do not like this weird texture part of the bag it just feels weird I like the shape though but this texture is really weird um so we'll dive right in here um first thing I see is this tristique tra um what is this Nantucket nude mini lip crayon this is the color I was afraid it was going to be too light but it doesn't appear to be too light, which is nice. I thought it was going to be a lot paler than that. It is nice and creamy. I do like the consistency, but it seems to be more of like a peachy pink toned nude. So that makes me very happy. So there's that. The next item is Bayberry Naturals Rose Hip and Hibiscus Moisturizer, which I'm always up for a good moisturizer. So, um, especially since my skin is so dry, it says it's 81% organic, 100% vegan, none of the bad stuff that everyone complains about. So let's see if it's sealed. It is not. doesn't really smell like anything, so that's nice. Um, I'm sure once you get it out, it smells like something. Uh, I've had this like five times already um Vasanti brighten up enzymatic face rejuvenator good thing I like this stuff I've gotten it from both Ipsy and Birchbox it's just a microdermabrasion cleanser it's got papaya in it smells really good um I don't mind it I like having it in the shower uh the next thing is kind of loose it is ash cream blush natural and organic Organic. Um, I can't read what the brand is. It's Eve something. Eve, Eve and Noia, Eve and Novia, something. But this is the color, and it's just this tiny little cream blush sample. And it's really pretty, really basic. It's a nice consistency for a cream blush. Um, it's kind of a pain in the took us to get it out of here, but that's all right um but it is a very nice neutrally shade kind of a medium toned and then last but not least there is this nyx uh trio and this is the ipsy nyx zero one palette so there's the three colors there so it looks like we have a basic matte black and then the other two are nice neutral shades um, kind of a browny color and a champagne color. So, I don't know how well you can... The champagne's not showing up very well on the camera. It's right there. But they're very pretty. And you know what? I'm not going to complain about this because this would be a perfect travel palette for me. Um, when I go to conventions and things like that, I tend to do more neutral eyes. Um, I do more stuff like this at my office because they're used to me being weird. Um, but stuff like this is perfect for me for traveling. So 
that was the ipsy bag i'm trying to get that sticker off my finger all right next birchie box so let's get this open so this is what the box looks like this month Psst, you're beautiful i like the box um i will admit i threw most of the boxes away i know we were supposed to be saving them but honestly they were just cluttering up my room so japanesque I've, I've seen this in old time never tried anything before velvet touch eyeshadow so the color i got is shade four let's see what it says oh this is a full-size eyeshadow holy shit this is 33 dollars <laughs> the packaging is absolutely stunning oh my gosh this is such beautiful packaging um it says velvety touch shadow a velvety shadow that balances a richly pigmented hue with a subtle hint of shimmer. Ooh, okay. This is very similar to one of the colors in that NYX trio. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay. Oh, shoot. So here's the NYX trio. It's very similar to this color here. Well, actually, it's kind of, it's a little more pinky. $33 for this uh, eye shadow. I really hope that this single shadow is not $33. Because <laughs> that's more than freaking NARS. Um, but yeah, anyway, moving right along. The next item is D Davines. Okay, yeah, D D Davines or Davines or whatever. Sea salt spray. So this. It's called This is a Sea Salt Spray. Nice name. Um, styling spray gives you beachy texture, blah, blah, blah. We all know. The full size of this is $24. And this is 100 mils. So it's, it's almost four fluid ounces, which is a nice size. So I will try the Sea Salt Spray. Um, I've never tried anything from this brand before. Next is a Cure facial cleansing gel oh a cure organics um full size of this is 26 dollars. it says this cleanser infuses skin with anti-aging ingredients for a fresh younger looking complexion it doesn't list what the ingredients are and it is sealed so i will leave that be and then last but not least we have the pillow pouch. Oh, and there's a tiny little. Okay. There's a tiny little brow pencil in here. Um, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil, which um, if you know anything about makeup, you've heard of the Anastasia. The full size of these is $25. Thank God they gave me medium brown. I was afraid they were going to be like taupe or something. But that's the color. Um, I've never used her brow pencils before, so that's pretty exciting. And then last is a perfume, La Artisan Perfumer. It's all in French. La Chasse au Papillon au de Toilette, full size is $85. Um, it says fresh notes of orange blossom, jasmine, lime, and tuberose evoke a feeling of simpler summer days. So let's see. It's this you know typical sample size it doesn't smell so hot when it's first on but maybe it dries down nicely I everything that's in it I should like maybe it just smells weird on me right now so that was everything in the birch box um yeah, so, um, Ipsy had more stuff in it that I liked. Um, the, I think the value of the birch box was probably higher, but, um, I will use this quad, or this trio. I know I will. Um, this lipstick I actually really like. The blush I like. I know I like the Vasanti stuff. Um, out of the birch box. I always say I'm going to use the sea salt spray, but half the time it just sits in my bathroom. Um, 
I will probably use the eyeshadow um, and the facial cleanser. So, um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, as for the life update, um, my dad was in the hospital again. So, a few more times, actually. So, my main focus was on making sure he was getting better. So, um, I know I've said so a bunch of times. I apologize. It's been a very difficult road. They finally figured out partially what was going on with him. He had congestive heart failure. So, they got that situation straightened out. And then found um, my mom discovered that one of the pain meds he was on was conflicting with his other pain meds and making him into a zombie. He would walk out of the house and wander around and leave the front door open, you know. Um, but when he doesn't take it, he doesn't do that. So she had him pull all of that, the gabapentin out, and um, she took custody of it until they could talk to his doctor. Um, but he's on a couple different diuretics because of the swelling not going down in his legs uh, other than that uh, things got very touch and go um and i think they will be for a while uh, until they can figure out what exactly is going on with him um, and hopefully have a better treatment plan than this kind of hit or miss thing that they have going on right now but uh, my mom, I had to take her to go get her pain shots. She went and got the steroid pain shots in her spine. Um, she actually has two herniated discs, not one. And that was a week and a half ago that I took her. And she's already starting to get pain back. So it's looking like she's going to have to have surgery. So, yay! That's everything. Oh yeah, and yesterday was my birthday, so I'm 41 now. Yay! <laughs> uh, yeah, that's everything. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon.